Hey out there, in today's uh, tutorial, I wanted to show you how to do image blanking fill. So basically, what I'm talking about is uh, removing these black bars uh, on the left and right hand side of the image and uh, replacing that with a sort of faded uh, version of this just to sort of give the, uh, the image a little bit more pop. Now it's easy to do. You uh, go to your toolbox, go to Open Effects, and you want to scroll down into just into the, about the middle. It's a little bit less than, or a little bit further down than, than the bottom, but you'll see here under Resolve FX Stylize, uh, this blanking fill. You just click on it, and you grab it, and you drag it right onto the clip or the image, the image I should say. Uh, and you can see now that um, this has been applied to the uh, image on your timeline. You don't have to live with that, however, that's just the default. You can adjust this in the uh, effects tab. Um, just click open the blanking fill, make sure you have it open, double click um, if it's not. And you can uh, change how the fill appearance works. You can blend the in the edges so that um, this isn't such a hard uh, defined line just by uh, scrolling to your right. Uh, personally, I don't use this too much. Uh, you can also change how the blur of the background, the intensity of the blur, so you can increase the blur. Uh, this is actually pretty handy just um, to give a little bit more of a definition to the uh, to or the, the image in the background. Let's just reset that. You can also change the fade amount, so just to blur it out and uh, desaturate it a little bit at the same time. Um, so there's that as well. Uh, and then down here there's also the drop shadow, so that just allows you to uh, increase the shadow strength on the, on the borders of the image. If I uh, increase that a lot, you can see how the border now has a bit more uh, shadow behind it. Um, and if you, uh, you can use these in conjunction. You can drop that there, blur that. You can change um, the uh, color of the uh, drop shadow if you want. Um, but all these things work together to make this a little bit of a uh, more uh, stylized image and uh, adds a little bit of complexity and depth to uh, the images that you're including on your timeline. All right, so hopefully you found this helpful and uh, we will see you on the next DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Take care out there.